Now, all right, trying to move fast here. Uh, we've got one more to do, then we're gonna wrap it up and I am gonna take some questions. We went through a dreary winter scene. And next and uh, final is going to be a wet spring morning. So I, I was out there uh, yesterday morning and it, it like hailed and dumped rain overnight. Um, and it was truly the, that wet spring morning and um, took a photo and just kind of like looking around, seeing what that's all about. And so we're going to really recreate that look now. And it's going to be largely based, you know, again, it's, it's close to summer, but we're going to like oversaturate our trees. We're going to use, uh, we will use rain. And then I think we do have a character that has an umbrella. So that's going to tell that story of that kind of like cold, rainy, uh, cooler, rainier morning. So let's get to it. Same process. I'm going to hop back into build mode. I'm going to bring our sun up like this. And we're going to go to our objects again and take a look at our layers. And we're going to turn off winter and turn on spring. All right. And then make sure that spring, uh, let's see, spring is our active layer. So you see, I just clicked on the number four and made spring our active layer. Let's deselect everything, all right? So any of the objects that I add into this model now are going onto that spring layer. And to really tell the story of spring, I think the only thing that I'm really concerned about is getting somebody in there with an umbrella. And that way it looks like, you know, when it's raining, uh, we're, we're, we've got the right look. So even though I think she's using the umbrella for uh, sunshade, we're gonna go with rain. And uh, let's see, we'll just put this gentleman over here walking his bike. I think that might be okay. And then I don't think there's anyone else with an umbrella. So I think we're good. Sometimes, you know, you only need one character. That's really okay. So we've got, um, we've got our, our, uh, our umbrella people in there. And uh, let's see, let's check this out. So I'll go to my camera. I'm going to snapshot my view and then take a look. And so you can see that, you know, that's that's pretty good. We've got her in the foreground. But, you know, if I click build with effects, it's going to put me like right in that view. And if I just kind of stay uh, stay still here and don't move my camera, uh, oops, I can move her. I want to kind of do a free move and maybe just move her off to the side just a touch like that. And let's see how that looks. All right. Cool. Okay, so same deal. I'm gonna to go to uh, my menu, file, load effects, and we're gonna load our base effect stack. All right, so there's our base effects. And now we're gonna to go to layer visibility and we're gonna turn on our spring. So that way we're only messing with the spring scenario. And uh, let's kind of move through this one pretty quick. Again, we'll go to our real skies and that's what truly sets the mood. We'll go to morning. And let's go with like a cloudy morning. Now I'm gonna slide the heading around like this and see if we can get, you know, I did, I've, I've done a few of these because I made the tutorials already, but um, you know, getting like the sun kind of um, in the frame was really a cool look. Uh, let's see if I can do that on the fly again. So something like that was, we'll, we'll try it. Of course, any of this stuff is super easy to adjust. So. We'll just go with it. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, we'll start with our real sky there and then move over. And I really don't need to mess with anything here, but I will add in, um, let's add the precipitation effect because I want it to be like raining out. So yeah, that's perfect. See how we're getting like the sun in there. It looks like the storm is passing. Um, you know, you could adjust the quantity of particles. Uh, something that's super cool too about the the rain is that it doesn't look great in this preview. Like you can see this one right here, it looks like this kind of odd shape, but it does it like motion blurs when you render it. So um, we'll we'll look at the final effect there. All right. So then um, you know the extra fog addition. If you back that off, you know uh, you can get more of the real sky um, like that. And uh, we'll go with. Uh, the Particle size, I think, is fine, but maybe less on the quantity. Okay, and um, we're good there. And then we'll go to our color correction. I'm just going to bounce around a little bit, dial up the saturation. Um, I'll go to my effects. I'm going to add a camera effect of exposure. Uh, just kind of bring this thing back into, you know, brightened up a bit. Uh, I don't want my building too dark, uh, but like, you know, we've got those really green trees, green grass. Um, it's raining out, looking good. 
what else do we need to mess with? Um, lens flare. Uh, again, you know, if you dial up your master brightness, um, you know, you can really get that sun to do some cool stuff. Um, and the bloom amount. So we're not totally going with too much of that, but I think that'll be a neat look. Uh, maybe our color correction uh, could be a little bit cooler. Uh, yeah, maybe not too much though. And then our saturation for the whole image could come up. I think that would be a, you know, a good way to kind of show the spring morning there. And oh, what other effects? So um, let's see. And we'll go with um, weather and climate, autumn colors. So again, you know, I, I already dialed up the, uh, the, the saturation of the whole image, but you can go back to your, um, let me go back to color correction and bring that saturation down. All right, and then we're gonna check which layer do we need to mess with. All right, so layer visibility, it's gonna be number four. All right, so we're gonna go back to our stack. We're gonna mess with layer number four. So on autumn colors, I need to set this to be layer number four, and then I can just dial up that saturation. You know, you make it really green. And um, you know, we're kind of exaggerating today, so why not? We'll make it pretty green. And then let's go back and double check our color correction and see, you know, maybe you want to like bring up your saturation a little bit on that. That looks pretty cool there. So let me double check my, my effect stacks. We've got uh, exposure is turned up, um, precipitation and all that, color correction, noise, all these are really in good shape. So uh, let me do this. I'm going to go through and make sure um, that we've saved each one. And uh, let me double check here.